come on, remind us. Well, I wanted to be a gangster until I was 11. Because, you know, you want to be what you see. <laughs> and I found a piano. After touching that piano, I said, I'll do this, I'll be doing this the rest of my life, you know. And then uh, I started to write arrangements when I was 13, 12 and 13 years old, till my eyes would bleed. Because the only real fear I ever had was uh, not being prepared for a great opp opportunity. And Frank Sinatra calls you, well, you better be ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? You better be ready. <laughs> right, some quick fires, Quincy Jones. Dubai, Chicago, or New York? They're all different, and that's what I like about it. Stockholm, please. Cairo, mm -hmm. Shanghai, Korea. Korea's so ghetto. That we look, Korea's more ghetto than the south side of Chicago. It really is. Ghetto. Buddy. Oprah Winfrey or Will Smith, you gave them both their first breaks, or at least you helped them out. We gave Oprah $35,000 for Color Purple in 85. This is worth $3 billion today. <laughs> and Will, Will was... Did you pay you back? Oh, no. <laughs> no. And Will Smith was broke, and that's why we put made it into a, a black family, mm. a bougie black family, mm. you know, because that had more drama, and it worked. All right, Frank Sinatra or Michael Jackson? They're all great, honey, and that's, that's the way I look at music, you know. It's, it's either happening or it's not happening. Mm. If you know your, your craft, you know when it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been happening for you yeah, right. for 60 years. Yes, love. What's next? I'm just starting. <laughs> We're doing ten movies, uh, uh, six albums, and uh, four Broadway shows. And, this, and these, these clubs and the restaurants, I'm very excited about that. That's going to be worldwide, you know. <laughs> <laughs>